Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Adam Collinson. I'm an engineer with TC Communications and what we're going to go on today is how to upgrade the firmware to your ISAT Phone Pro. Okay, I would uh, definitely say the one of the most common and hardest things people find to do is upgrade their firmware. Yes, it's, it's quite easy to do. Uh, there's not a lot, there's just a couple of things to uh, get your head around and uh, that is pretty straightforward. So we'll start. First thing you need to do is download the uh, the document uh, on the Allsat Phones website. So, yeah. All right, so just uh, in your internet browser, just type in www.allsatphones.com forward slash downloads, and that'll bring you up to this web page here. On this web page is the link for the. Uh, firmware upgrade how-to guide. So if you select that, uh, you can print that or uh, just download that so that you can look at it. All right, the first thing we need to do, uh, once you've done that, is connect your phone to your laptop and get the USB drivers to work on it. All right, so with the uh, phone, at the base of the phone, uh, under the cover, and there's a micro USB slot in there. Grab your USB cable, So once you've connected that to your phone, we then want to connect that to our laptop just into the USB port. Okay. Next thing is grab the disk that comes uh, with your phone, All right, and on there are the USB drivers to drive your phone. So the first thing we need to do is get your laptop to talk to the phone. Okay, so once you place the CD in, It'll then ask uh, what language, so select the language you're most comfortable with. Right. Uh, it'll then ask you to accept or reject the disclaimer, so have a read of that, uh, and then continue on. Okay, so at this point now, uh, there's a number of things you've got there. You've got software, you've got user guide, quick start guide, information about the warranty. So what we want to grab off the CD is the software. Right. And the software we're specifically after is the USB drivers that allow the computer to talk to your new phone. Okay, so the first uh, pop-up menu will be uh, requesting whether you want to install those drivers. So select install. Alright, so we allow that software to run uh, and it's just come back to say that the drivers have installed successfully. Is uh, what we want. What that now means is this computer will always talk to that phone. Uh, if you want your phone to talk to another computer, you'll have to do this again on that next computer. And any future firmware upgrades, you won't need to reload the USB drivers. You can close that window down for the software uh, that comes with the phone, and we'll go back to the Borsat Phones website. So now we need to download the firmware um, software and the program that allows to use that firmware. Alright, so on the Allsat Phones uh, download page, we then uh, select the uh, Allsat Phone Pro, um, Allsat Phone Pro firmware version uh, zip file. Alright, so we select that link and that will bring a download box up. So what, what you want to do is select the middle box which is save and we want to save that to your desktop. So in the left hand menu, scroll up to the top and select desktop. Right, and then press save. That will now download and save that file to your desktop and we'll then use that software to upgrade your phone. Alright, so once that um, firmware has been downloaded as a zip file, we'll then need to open up that zip file. Uh, click on here. Uh, and then we uh, select the file inside there, double click on it and that will extract that. Uh, select to the desktop and that will save on the desktop. Once on the desktop, we double click on that software and that will then bring up uh, the ISAT Phone Pro firmware upgrade tool. Alright, uh, this window will come up, just press select, select next. Alright, accept the terms of the license agreement if you accept them. Uh, and next, and then install. The default install is fine. Alright, uh, through next, and then that's finished and we'll ask to run the application, which is what we want to do. that uh, 
this box will come up, the uh, select firmware upgrade package. All right. So once we've started the uh, firmware upgrade tool, uh, we then select the firmware that we want to upgrade uh, in the browse and the advantage of putting it on your um, desktop is it's very easy to find. You can select desktop and scroll down and there's the firmware upgrade package. So open that and then select next. Alright, so now you need to connect to your ISAT phone for the upgrade, so we need to switch the phone on. Okay, so we switch the phone on, uh, the laptop will then, uh, the device drivers will then load and uh, you'll get this message here, ISAT phone is now connected. Uh, and then select the start upgrade button. Alright, uh, warning, do not disconnect your ISAT phone, do not stop the application. So you now must leave that to run, otherwise you will uh, wreck your phone and you will send it back. So as you can see, it is quite slow to uh, upgrade the firmware, uh, so please don't disconnect, don't get impatient with it, just let it run its course. It will take quite a few minutes for it to finish uploading that firmware. Alright, so it's taken a while, but it, uh, the firmware is now uploaded, so uh, and you'll get that message there. Uh, I, um, device upgraded successfully. Okay, it then says you can uh, disconnect your device, so you can select finish, uh, and that'll close that down. You can now remove the uh, micro USB connection from your phone, close the dust cover, and we will go into the menu and look for uh, just to confirm that it's got the uh, latest firmware in there. Alright, so on the phone you want to uh, select the menu button uh, and then scroll down the two, screen, two icons uh, to the spanner, which is your settings. Uh, select that icon, go in there and then scroll down the bottom to uh, about and select. Uh, the second listing there will be the firmware version and uh, you just want to make sure that matches the one that you downloaded and then your phone is ready to go. So hopefully this has cleared up for some people how to uh, upgrade your firmware on your phone. However, uh, if it is uh, a little bit beyond your grasp, um, I recommend asking a, uh, a friend who's a bit more technology savvy. Uh, you can always send it into TC uh, and for a small fee uh, we'll get an uh, engineer to uh, do that for you.